Hey everyone, Josh here. Thanks for joining me today um, for game one <laughs> in my Canon Jagdtiger. Sorry if I butchered that. It's not really game one. I didn't want to give that piss poor performance to everybody. I had a couple of bad maps and just did not have anything good or anything productive to show anybody. So. Here we are. This is. I'm not trying to pump the tanks' tires or anything like that because tanks don't have tires. Huh? No. Um, I just wanted to give everyone a good look at it. It's it's packaged up with the hammer tank for a considerable amount of gold. I just didn't want to guide anyone into buying something they were going to get mad at me for. But uh, so I'm going to go over it pretty quick here with you guys. It's got a two-second aim time, 0.31 accuracy. So it looks like it has the exact same gun as the RU251. Uh, the difference is it's got different ammunition than the RU251. So it's got 22 more pen on the AP rounds. The heat pen and the and the, the high explosive pen are the same. It does have faster aim time. It doesn't have a turret. It's going to have a faster aim time. And it does have a slightly slower reload, believe it or not, by 0.16 rounds a minute. So it's nothing to, to be too worried about. Um, my one thing is, and you'll notice that quite a bit here, the... I, I, well, first of all, let's go for a positive. Look, I can throw the whole lock on with this guy, and it has a pretty good gun arc. So I don't have to shift to see too much stuff. If it's a tank that's moving that's a good distance away, I don't have to shift my tank to see to hit that tank. As bad as some tank destroyers, but, like, it's not a tortoise, but still pretty good. That was a pretty bad shot on my part. Now, one thing you'll notice is it does have the same, or what I believe is the same, shell velocity as the RU-251. And if you're not familiar with that tank, it's not the best sniping tank. Which is tough for a tank destroyer that plays at the tier 10 to not have that good of shell velocity. It's going to take some getting used to for you. Um, I think against tier 10s, I haven't played tier 10s yet. I've got about 6-7 games in it. Like I said, it's a first impression thing here. Um, but I think the shell velocity might be a bit of a problem. And this thing does not feel like it should play at the tier 10. Flat out. Um... You're probably going to want to lower the amount of heat. I have a lot of heat there. It's only going to give you 38 more pen. That's decent, but um, against tier 10s, honestly, you're going to want to track them and have other guys do the damage for you with that HE. Your HE will track a lot of things in one shot, so you might find yourself favoring the HE to get more assist damage from using your own gun. Not something you want to do. It's not good for your WN8 if you're worried about that might not want to get this tank, I don't know. It's up to you on that, of course, but just saying, it's a really fast tank. It's got better camouflage rating than the Rom Borsig Waffentrigger, which is pretty handy. Really handy, actually. Um, it's quite fast. It's faster than your E25, but it'll play different than your E25. You won't get up in people's face with this thing and DPM them to death like an E25. You can, 1v1, because 1200 hit points is okay I get actually that's pretty good for a tier 8 tank destroyer but you're not gonna bounce anything with this guy here very paper thin armor you're really fast good camo decent traverse um, in my first couple games I tried to play that aggressive style like I was talking about in the E25 and it was not productive I got absolutely turded on and brand new premium tank people tend to shoot you before the guy beside you so that's something else you got to take into consideration when you're doing stuff like that. I should have taken into consideration. Sorry, sorry. But here we are. Pretty good gun. Again, 212 pen versus the 190 on the RU is what your AP has. So 22 more pen. That's okay. But it's not... Yeah, it just doesn't feel right. Flat out. For the price tag you end up having to pay for this thing, I'm not 100% sure it's worth it. If you're just interested in the hammer, go win your hammer. Congratulations, go forward and hammer things. Um, not saying you need to drop the 80 bucks or whatever it is for that, for this guy here. And there's a reason I didn't show you all these things in my garage. I, some of you will know what, why I'm not showing it, some of you may not, but... Anyways, it's going to be a while before I show people at my garage. <laughs> or until I get a decent overlay to cover it for you. Certain things I don't want people seeing. Gold and mounts and... 
I guess the premium days won't be something I can hide for a long time, but still. Thank you, tank gods. Probably not necessary to run the chocolate. <laughs> Just wanted to maximize everything for performance reasons. Especially after the first couple games, I had to throw the chocolate on after that just because I was, I was on tilt, man, salty. No, just didn't want to have like that sad of a game one in a tank that people would be paying that much for. So this is pretty good game, I think. Decent, I guess. I'm sh oh, that's good to hear. I I'm sure people will put up better numbers than this. Of course, that'd be insane to think that it wouldn't. Here I am, good charge in on this Tiger tank, he doesn't know what hit him. I see too much heat, not enough AP. I've since changed that loadout, but yeah. Come in here and see this Tiger and go BAM. Low roll him, but track him, cool. But see, you're not gonna have those like dud HEs into people's tracks and stuff that don't do anything with that 102 penning high explosives, 320 damage. So yeah, if you just shot HE and penned all your HE in this thing, you'd have tortoise-like damage per minute. So that's cool. 320, about 12 rounds a minute. Yeah, that's good damage. What are we looking at there? Yeah, it's just under 4,000. Have fun with that. If you can get that to work for you, do it. But uh, yeah. There you have it. Mastery badge. Ooh. <laughs> 3109 damage. Not too bad. I mean, 16 pens. A couple of them were pretty low, but yeah. Well, there it is. Um, I look forward to playing this thing more. I'm not going to say get it or don't get it. That's up to you because it's your monies. But yeah, there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you boys out on the battlefield.